I'm, uh, I think I've just turned 73, born uh, 6th of September 1943 during the brown out of Melbourne down here, Royal Women's Hospital. Stolen from Royal Women's Hospital and raised in an institution in Melbourne, Box Hill. And the program in there, besides the sexual abuse and the unusual punishments, was to dissuade me, the lone Aboriginal, registered Aboriginal in that Box Hill boys' home, to be, you know, persuaded against any sense of his Aboriginality. And uh, so I was a lost child for many years. But I was always saying to myself, well, a real black fella shouldn't be shooting white powder up his arms because I started to behave like a, uh, you know, uh, not a gangster. I never confronted anybody. But you would make wrong choices so very easily. It's very hard to heal oneself from these policies of the past and the policies that are now, you know, you know, developing. The thing that most tweaked me towards my healing was that uh, was the Muramali program delivered by Auntie Lorraine Peters and her daughter at the Loddon. And um, many years later, uh, through the Koori Heritage Trust, I found myself. I found my mob. And so. Uh, uh, just this measure of information coming from uh, Koori Heritage Trust has allowed me to stand proud and firm in my Aboriginality. I've tried my damnedest to find out who I was, but at every turn, like uh, just before I left the home, a group of Aboriginal kids came in, my first sighting of other Aboriginal kids. And I write about this in Jack Charles vs. the Crown. It was the Edwards brothers, Kutcher Edwards amongst them. But one young fella amongst them, Arthur, said his last name's Charles, and I could recall saying to him, wouldn't it be funny if we were brothers, mate? Years later, I get to find out that indeed that Arthur at Fox Hill Boys' home, right, that, that mob of Edwards brothers, they were the, that, that Arthur was indeed my brother, and those two girls were my sisters. And indeed, the Kutcher, Edwards brothers, were my mum's sister's kids. I've noticed that Jack Charles versus the Crown and Bastardy have done immeasurable healing for other people. When Bastardy was shown on the ABC, I got a letter from somebody. It was the top of a Bicky Barrel. Riker, Riker or something, you know, Bicky Barrel, with a, with a stamp on the corner and a note from a girl up in Queensland, 16-year-old, Mr Charles, I'm 16 year old, just saw a bastardy, on my way to the methadone clinic now. So, but once you, 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 you accept your Aboriginality totally, you know, you stand taller, prouder, and you're standing on solid ground.